<laughs> so here is Xi Xing Tan from China. Still on the beam. Lots of pressure on her. All her teammates have crumbled under the pressure. And she is a tiny person. <laughs> She's probably shorter than the beam. Let's see what she can do here. Flip, flip. Beautiful high layer. Wow. That's exceptional work. Needs to maintain this. Change ring jump, big wobble, can't save it. Another point gone for the Chinese team. There is no way that I can see that they can be competitive with the Americans if they uh, continue like this. The Americans would have to do something similar. Front Sunny, another fall, just lack of confidence. Gee, it's hard to believe, Liz, that all their athletes have plummeted to the floor off this apparatus. They are a very new team, and I would suspect that the national coaches who are here watching this competition are looking at them for the future, very much a developmental team. And once they get some experience under their belts, uh, I'm sure we'll see greater things from them, but not today. Of course, the Australians have a bye in this rotation, so it's a good sign for our Aussie girls. Yes, it just opens the door a bit for the Australian team to pick up a, a bronze or a silver medal here. I, I don't know that we're going to catch the Americans, even even though we haven't seen much of them yet. But maybe within striking distance of this Chinese team. Well, she looks devastated and deservedly so. She's faulted again for her side. Well, this is the outstanding part of the routine. Look how high that is, that beautiful stretched body salto and connecting it to a nice little Corbett flick. A 13.2 for Xi Xing Tan of China on beam.